When World War II broke out, the Swedish Air Force mostly operated obsolete biplane fighters. To solve this problem, Sweden ordered 120 Seversky P-35 and 144 P-66 Vanguard fighters from the United States. But in April 1940, Germany invaded Norway and Denmark, and the United States then declared an embargo against exporting weapons to any other country than Great Britain. Because of this, the Swedish Air Force did not get their delivery of more modern fighter aircraft. Soviet and Finnish alternatives were considered, but they did not meet the requirements. Japanese alternatives were considered, but delivery from Japan was impractical. A number of Italian Fiat CR42 and Regian RE2000 were purchased as a temporary solution. The Swedish aircraft manufacturer Saab was busy building the Saab 17 and Saab 18 bombers, making it necessary to establish a new firm and factory to produce a new fighter. The Royal Air Administration Aircraft Factory in Stockholm, or short FFVS, was formed. A monoplane aircraft, with a plywood-covered steel airframe was designed. It was designated the J-22, and it was powered by a Swedish copy of the Pratt & Whitney R-1830 twin WASP engine. The engine was manufactured without a license, but license fees were paid retroactively, the symbolic sum of one US dollar. The first flight of the J-22 took place September 20, 1942, and the aircraft entered service in October 1943. A total of 198 aircraft were delivered between 1943 and 1946. The J-22A was armed with two 8mm machine guns, and two 13.2mm cannons. On the J-22B the machine guns were replaced with two more cannons. A small number of aircraft were later converted to reconnaissance aircraft. The J-22 had good maneuverability and responsive controls, and was liked by the pilots. In mock dogfights against P-51 Mustangs, it was able to compete, although on higher altitudes the P-51 was superior due to its stronger engine. In 1949, the Ethiopian Air Force inquired about buying a number of J-22s. The intention was to form an Ethiopian fighter squadron, and the J-22 was considered, because it used the same engine as the bombers the Air Force used, the Saab 17. However, the deal was never made. The J-22 was retired from the Swedish Air Force in 1952. Today there are five J-22s preserved in the world. Only three of these are complete aircraft. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel.